Hello munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to a surrender rescue intake story. My name is Munchie and I run my own rescue for small animals such as hamsters, gerbils, and mice. And today I am introducing a new little companion to our rescue. His name is Little Mo, or Mo for short. So Mo here actually came from a Craigslist ad. Let me share with you the ad for Mo because I got that vibe from the ad itself thinking that maybe this person will not surrender to the rescue. His ad reads Dopey the dwarf hamster $30. Little dwarf hamster named Dopey, like in Snow White, very friendly, comes with cage, food, bedding, and hamster ball, asking 30 or best offer. So this person was at least offering a best offer, so that's good because sometimes even when you try haggling a price down, the people can be very stubborn. I've had times where people are like, oh yeah, no, I'm selling this guy for 65 with the cage. If you don't want him, tough shh. It gets like that sometimes at the rescue. Uh, he is two months old and super cute. So I did change him. So he is little Mo now. And if we take a look at the first picture of Mo, as you see, it doesn't look like a good setup and a good situation. But the first thing I spotted when I saw this ad was he's got squinty eyes, but he looks fully awake, but there's something going on with this hamster. He is definitely not two months old. That is a full body adult Campbell's Russian dwarf hamster right there. You can tell in the coat type and the weight, they don't get that big at two months old and look like that. So there's something going on with him here. Next photo, you can see his back. It is either all greasy or it is just something medically is going on here, not too sure. At first I thought maybe he could be an aggressive Campbell's Russian dwarf hamster and I don't remember if this is gonna be my first one that is non-aggressive, but turns out no, later on he's actually very friendly. And then the third photo, we see a very small hamster cage. They did feed him Higgins. They do have an exercise ball, which we do not use. And then we got the KT pine shavings right there. We'll talk about that later. But in this photo, before I went and got him, I did notice the bird carrier in the back and I was thinking, huh, I wonder if they have animals. So the reason for him to be given up was they have a busy lifestyle between the army and college. And unfortunately they travel around a lot and they're just about to get married and they think that it would just not be a good fit to keep a hamster with them during all of this. They got a lot going on, but they did mention to me they just got the hamster a month ago. So they only had the hamster for a month before trying to rehome. So that does discourage me. You guys know how I really don't like it when people are like, ooh, I want him and then realize, oh, shoot but at least the person did rehome them. They knew their mistake and they're trying to rehome them. But just wanted to give you guys some information about where he came from. And then when I got him, I brought my little carrier because at the time I didn't know if I was getting the cage or not. And they opened the door and I smelled it before I heard it, but I smelled birds. <laughs> And right after I smelled it, I heard it and you could hear the squawking and everything. I didn't know how many animals they had because we only interacted at the front door and they were just nice people and they were very thankful and I have nothing really much more to say about that besides they were nice people and maybe they were just misinformed about this. When I brought Mo home, I of course changed the name. I looked him over. I actually went to Cuddles and Scales because on that night, I actually went and picked up a bearded dragon that was in desperate need of saving off of Craigslist. It was all so quick, it happened so suddenly, but he was along my route to the hamster. So I thought, hey, maybe I should contact this person, see if he would be willing to meet tonight for his bearded dragon that he's listing for free. That's in not such good condition. He is very emaciated, underweight, and it worked out fine. I got him, I got the hamster. I booked it over to my pals at Cuddles and Scales Rescue. I gave him up. I also let them check on the hamster and it does appear that little Mo does have something wrong with him. Now he has an abscess on his front. It looks like it kind of bursted, maybe like a little cyst, but it was right near kind of around his scent gland. But we had trouble that night identifying if he actually was a male or not because it was very hard to tell, but I do believe just by looking at him that he was indeed a male. So little Mo is in quarantine quarantine. He is on health watch until we can get him into the vets so they can get him some antibiotics or anything that he desperately needs. And then they also at Cuddles and Scales made a note that possibly he might have um, what looks like a possible wound on his back. They kind of hinted that maybe he was kept with another hamster, which sounds kind of weird, but it could possibly be true. Maybe they weren't being truthful. You just never know with these types of situations. But these people did tell me that they
they got Mo from their local pet store. Because I asked, I'm like, is it a breeder? Was it an accidental litter? Was it from a pet store? They said pet store. It doesn't seem like they had another, but if they did, I mean, they didn't tell me about it. They just said they couldn't care for him, and that was that. But it looks like Mo does have some issues, and Mo was just the sweetest fella. He let us pick him up, he was content, and when we placed him inside his enclosure, because he came with no chew toys, he started chewing on everything. And let me show you the enclosure here, because I have it here. Because guess what, guys? It's a preview, but it's not the correct preview. Mo came in this, and it bears the preview sticker. Now, this specific cage I looked up already, and it is discontinued, but guess what? It's only the color that's discontinued, because the blue one's still being sold, I think the purple one's still being sold, but I cannot believe Preview has made this cage and called it a hamster cage. No. So I will be reviewing this cage because this cage has come in perfect condition. So I can actually take a look at it, review it, talk about it. You'll see a future video for me, but there's a food bowl. There's a tiny hide. So at least they provided a hide, no chew toys. They did have pine bedding, which is in here. They do have a water bottle and they do have a wheel, which I will also go over the size of the wheel too. But it is a very flimsy plastic wheel now. <laughs> the cage itself. It's metal and the pan itself is also a flimsy plastic. So this is the cheapo version of preview and I don't like that preview has made this. Also right here, that's a pan. They can slide in and out. I haven't taken a look at it yet because it's still full of bedding in here, but let's take a look at the pine bedding and the things that this hamster came with. This purple ball. I love the color purple. Purple is like my favorite, but unfortunately not gonna use it. It's gonna be recycled. Higgins, we will freeze dry this because I don't take any chances after the sea tick incident, which I would love to still talk about. Keep forgetting to make that video, but it will happen. Yeah, no, we freeze all of our food now. Not the bedding, surprisingly enough, not the bedding. It's the food, so we'll talk about that in another video. But guess what? Pine bedding. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, is it kiln dried pine? Because that is the only really safe pine. And kiln drying actually takes the toxicity out of the pine and makes it safe for animals to be on. I just don't trust it because it smells still very strongly, smells more so than aspen, even when kiln dried. But in order for this pine bedding to be safe for animals, they need to list on their packaging, it's kiln dried. Otherwise, it is not safe for your animals. So I looked everywhere on here. I even looked online and there was mixed answers as to whether or not KT is kiln dried or not. But I looked on this bag everywhere and the only closest thing I have seen that could be, but does not say kiln dried, is KT Pine Bedding is made from 100% natural wood and has a fresh natural aroma that is safe for your pets. Actually, your damn pine gives me a headache. So it's not a fresh aroma, it's an aroma of toxicity most likely. And that right there makes me think that they haven't done a gosh damn thing about this. They just processed it, they did not kiln dry it, and the aroma is safe for your pets. It's most likely saying, oh, it's fresh. It's so fresh because we just processed it, but we didn't process it kiln dried. Because all the kiln dried bedding of pine that I've seen literally has kiln dried on it. So I do not trust this. And knowing poor Mo has an abscess problem on his chest that he's squinting really severely, even more so today than he was yesterday, which has me really concerned. But just the squintiness, just the abscess, I am just really concerned overall for his health. So if anybody out there is using this bedding, I do not recommend it. Just seeing how greasy his coat was and they only had him for a month? and they got him from a pet store. Just a month being on that bedding worries me a lot. So it should worry you too. So, like I said, Mo is just the sweetest little Campbell's Russian Dwarf Hamster. He is definitely confirmed to be Campbell's Russian Dwarf Hamster. He's got the body type, he's got the head type, he's got the stripe going down the back and the sides are looking like him. So he definitely classifies as the regular dwarf. Not a winter white Jungarian hamster. It is definitely Campbell's Russian Dwarf Hamster. So thank you guys so much for watching his introduction story. I will be posting him on Instagram. So if you wanna check out any of the foster animals in my 
my care, in my foster home's care, please check it out. Links will be down below in the description. So if you liked today's video, hit like to show support, comment down below with anything you like to say, and if you're new here and would like to become a part of the Munchkin family, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!